just, and we're talking about 100 to 200, sometimes even 300 milliseconds, we're putting together all of this cognitive stuff that goes into what I will be calling deep breathing in a minute. But what I want you to think about is that what we are doing is not unlike, and I look at Ryan, my English PhD, we are doing exactly what Proust had said in this tiny little book called On Reading, which nobody reads, interestingly, terribly. He said it better than any teacher, neuroscientist, or linguist, that what we do when we read is that we go to the end of the wisdom of the author and move into our own. This is my prefatory way of talking about what I am calling deep reading skills. It's essential for you in this tiny moment with me to recognize what you do. When you move from three to 400 milliseconds, and if we're in evoke potential territory, those of you in psychology, this is the in 400 moment. This is the moment when you pull together what you know about the word with what you know from the world, you put your perspective of other, your perspective taking your imagery, and then you move through analogy to inferential processes. These processes make you think completely differently. You are, for all purposes, Hercule Poirot. You are Sherlock. You are Miss Marple. But you are doing something to that information that changes it. And from that change comes critical analysis. And very, very importantly, if we are lucky, if you know to allocate time, this is unconscious, but this is if, if we are trained to do this, we move into Proust territory, where we move into our own, if you will, global neuronal workspace, where we think beyond the author and we generate new thoughts. Mm -hmm.